9C question 9, a 7.7 .7 gram sample of sodium chromate tetrahydrate was heated such that the water was turned to steam and was driven off. Assuming ideal behavior, what volume would that steam occupy at 1 atmosphere and 100 degrees Celsius? So um, this is just like um, the other ideal gas law problems, and anytime we're using an equation that has lots of variables, like the ideal gas law, then we should look through our question and try to determine what information we've already been given. So we know that we don't have volume because we're, we've been asked to solve for volume. Uh, the pressure is one atmosphere. Um, I don't know how many moles of gas I have. The temperature is 100 degrees C. So as is with the information that I've been given, I can't just plug this into the ideal gas law yet because I don't know the volume and I don't know the moles. But I was given the mass and if I have the mass of a compound and I know the molar mass, then I can convert that to moles. So I have to use the mass here to um, convert the, the, to the moles using the molar mass of, the, of this compound. And then the fact that there's four moles of water for every one mole of this compound to determine the moles of water. Because what we're being asked here is the volume of the steam only. And the steam comes from the H2O. So moles of H2O, that the only part of the moles that we're really concerned about is the, the moles of H2O. So when we go through this, we need to know the molar mass of sodium chromate. And so we look up sodium on the periodic table and add the mass of two together and the mass of chromium and the mass of four oxygen. And for sodium chromate, we get RO4 equals so this part equals 161.97 grams per mole H2O equals 18.0 2 grams per mole. So when I'm trying to figure out the molar mass of this whole compound, I have to take into account the fact that there are 4 moles of water. So this compound here um, means that for every 1 mole of sodium chromate I have, there's 4 moles of water. So I have to take the molar mass of water and multiply by 4. add these together. All right, so after I add everything together, I get 234.05 grams per mole. So if I have 7.7 .7 grams, And the molar mass of my compound is 234.05 grams per mole. And we have 0.03. 289 moles of this compound Na2CrO4 dot or H2O. So when I calculate moles this way, since I used all all of these compounds, and I multiplied 
the water by 4, then the moles that I just calculated are moles of this whole compound with four molecules. We call those four waters of hydration on inside the compound. So if I'm only trying to get to the moles of water, then I need to convert moles of sodium chromate tetrahydrate to moles of water. So we'll start here. I have 0, 0 0.0. Round this up, 3, 2, 9 moles of Na2Cro4H2O. And for every one mole of this compound, Na2Cro4H2O, there are four moles of water. And so what I'm saying is that when I have one of these, I have four waters. It's like saying um, a car. If I have one whole car, then I have four tires because four tires are part of a car four molecules of water are part of this whole compound. So when I have this many moles of the whole compound, I have four times more moles of water. So that gives us 0 0.132 moles of water. So that was a lot of work for us to get this, which goes here. Now we know how many moles of water there are, what the temperature of the steam is, what the pressure of the gas is, and so now we can calculate the volume using the ideal gas law. So PV equals NRT, I'm solving for V, so I divide both sides by P, and we get V equals NRT over P. So N, I have 0 0.1. 0.132 moles. R, gas constant, liter, atmosphere. Per mole. K. Temperature. So, temperature here, I have in the ideal gas constant. My temperature is in Kelvin. I can't change the units of my ideal gas constant. So if I need the units to cancel so that I can solve for volume, then I can't use degrees C in this equation. Degrees C and Kelvin are not gonna cancel. So I have to convert this to Kelvin. And to do that, we just add 273. So I have 373 Kelvin divided by one atmosphere. So after we plug these in here, 0 0.132 times 0 0.082 times 373 divided by 1, 4.0373 uh, moles and moles cancel, K and K, atmosphere and atmosphere, so my units are liters. Um, so now we have to uh, determine 
our sig figs if we have to round. So I have three sig figs in my measurement up here. So I should have three, oh, and I wrote this down wrong again. This should be in the question. It says this is 1.00. And it says the, the temperature, this is important information for figuring out the sig figs. I was just being lazy. The temperature is 100 point zero degrees C. So this has four sig figs. This has three sig figs. This has three. So I'm limited to three significant figures in my answer. So we should get 4.04 liters.